Good Sunday morning, everybody. Sunday morning, March 31st, and we're headed up to go visit my, with my parents. Dad's gonna help with changing the oil in my car, so I'll take you along. As you can see, we had a really nice drive up to my parents and back and dad helped us out with my car and did some maintenance on it, which was great. We um, took them out for lunch to McMenamin's up there, um, which was really nice. Uh, and um, I get teased a lot about my art room being organized and everything being labeled. My dad's automotive tools are not labeled, but here is a picture or two. Uh, one is at the inside of his toolbox drawer, and I do have one of the back wall of his little tool um, t section of his uh, garage space. He's got a little like cubby in the back. And um, yeah, so the OCD thing where everything's got to be neat and lined up and in its place, yeah, it runs in the family. Can't buy it, honestly. His drawers aren't labeled. I told him he should label the drawers, but he says they've been there for like 50 years. He knows where everything is. I'd still want them labeled, but you know it's me. Anyway, that's it. We're going to just chill at home now for a while and have some water. And yeah, I had a lot to eat for lunch, so I am not hungry. I'm just going to make sure I had to drink some water because the lunch was kind of salty. That's it for now. I'll be back. I just got stuck in front of the computer, started working on something, and lost track of time. It's 10.30. I'm still in my pajamas. I have an Etsy order that's got to go out in the mail today, so I'm going to hurry up and take a shower and get dressed and walk it over to the mailbox really quick because, yeah, that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. So I got to tell y'all, the <clears throat> people over at Silhouette are super helpful. Big thumbs up to them. They have an online uh, support uh, chat. And Ricky over there, hey Ricky, um, gave me a lot of help this morning. We figured out what was wrong with the silhouette and we fixed it. So we are making stickers, yay! Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning, April 2nd, I think. It's 9.46 a.m. I only know that because there's a clock right there. Don't get excited. Um, anyway, I am headed out right now it's I, I already got my typing and stuff done chatted with some friends I have a bunch of mail next to me on the seat um, including which includes some Etsy orders and some stuff for the my design team and has to go out today so we're gonna go take care of that first and then 
we're gonna just run to Safeway, pop over to Safeway really quick. Um, I need a few groceries. I am expecting some deliveries today, actually over the next few days. Um, so, although they'll leave them on the porch, I don't necessarily want them to be there too long. Um, we ordered some new light fixtures for the outside of the house. That I don't think is coming until Thursday, so I think I'm good on that. Um, and that's a kind of a big order because there's like seven lights. Yeah. Um, anyway, I think that the rest of the day today is gonna be spent when I get back working on catching up my um, creative year journal, which I haven't done anything for any of March documenting what happened in my life is what I'm talking about. So, um, I haven't done any more. <laughs> I have all the little pieces of paper, but yeah. So I need to work on that while I'm waiting for the delivery that's supposed to come today. Then once that delivery gets here, we'll be putting that piece together. It's something for the art room and I'll be filming the process for that. And it'll be a sort of a series of storage videos. And yes, I'm finally going to do a series of videos about the new art room and how I'm storing certain things and how I have things set up. It's gonna be a multi-part video series. I'm gonna do little sections here and there. I'm not gonna try and do the whole thing because the room is really big. I don't have more stuff than I did before. In fact, I have less. It's just spread out more, which is great because I can get to most of it a lot easier, which is wonderful. Because um, it's not about the size of the space. It's about how you organize it so you can get to things. Anyway, we're going to be doing a series about that, and um, yeah, I think it's going to be just a quiet few days. We have a new bed coming on Saturday, so we need to do some rearranging of furniture Oops, for that because we're keeping the old bed. It's going upstairs in the guest room, so I haven't told almost son-in-law yet, but he's going to need to help us get it up the stairs. Yeah. Anyway, that's a thing. Uh-oh. I see a truck up ahead blocking the road. I'll be back. I forgot they're doing construction and stuff down here. I'll be going around the other way to go home. And in case you guys haven't noticed, you haven't heard Jeeves in the background. I have finally figured out how to get to a couple places that are close to home without GPS. So, that's a good thing. I think anyways. I still use them a lot, so don't get all excited or anything. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. Hi guys, it is, what time is it? I don't even know. 3.19 p.m. Wednesday, April 3rd. I only know that because it's already after three o'clock. I have been busy all morning um, working on my new stencil rack. I'll include a picture here. There is a video coming up. Um, by the time you see this, it'll already be out. Um, chatting with friends, um, working on what I'm gonna do with um, excess stencils that I'm purging, the binders, cleaning off the table, um, missing an important mail delivery that I didn't know was coming, crap. When he tried to deliver it, I was in the shower, so. That took like two hours to get somebody on the phone at the post office and arrange for a re-delivery tomorrow. So I'm not going anywhere tomorrow until the delivery gets here. Anyway, uh, it has been an interesting day. Um, I'm also working on laundry and a couple other things, so. Anyway, we spent the day or afternoon, well, a good couple hours this afternoon talking with my friends Cindy Utter, Peg Robinson, and Vicki Brown at Messy Table Studios about color mixing and color mixing charts and how to play with your paints. And I don't know, is that something you all would like to see or has it just been overdone on YouTube? Let me know, because we definitely can do videos about that. I have done some in the past, but we can do another one. I do have some ideas. So let me know if you're interested. Um, that's it for the moment. I'm gonna take some pictures of my new stencil rack for um, my friends, they're all 
wanting to see it and they evidently weren't paying attention earlier when I was showing it to them. So, well, at least a few of them, Cindy. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna take a pictures and then I'm gonna go check the mail and check Bambi's bowl because I haven't done that yet. All right, I'll Seems be back. We have a little visitor on the back fence. Not sure whose cat that is. It could be our neighbors, Dick and Jeannie, or someone else. I bet you he's watching for birds, trying to catch a bird, because we get a lot of birds in our yard. Interesting. Hi guys. So I got a box from the Deco Art Helping Artist program. To be super transparent with you all, um, most of my deco art products come from the Helping Artists program. If you don't know what that is, I'll leave a link um, in the description below. I love deco art products, um, but the transparent part I want part I want to be transparent part about is I am only ordering the things I'm out of. And that being said, I don't remember what I ordered. I think I ordered more of their pouring medium. I love their pouring medium. I have a bunch of the Liquitex, which I also like, but, and, or I should say love, because I do love the Liquitex one, but it's a lot more expensive than the DecoArt one. The DecoArt one's affordable. You seem to get cells a lot easier with it than the Liquitex one. I know there were some paints I was, colors I was out of. It looks like those are in here. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really remember what I ordered. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, so let's see. I forgot to take the meat out of the freezer for dinner, so it's sitting in some hot water, which is probably like a no-no, but. Um, clear pouring top coat, which is great. It's a large bottle of the Americana acrylic paint in white, titanium white. And then, yes, pouring medium, woohoo! And then I use a lot of white in the pouring, and I've been using uh, Michael's Artist Loft um, pouring acrylic pouring paint. I wanted to mix up some of the Americana and try that. Um, I got a DecoArt Americana smaller bottles in Brilliant Purple, Aqua Sky, Bahama Blue. These are colors I was either out of or I'm almost out of. Calypso blue. See a theme there? <laughs> a lot of blues. Desert turquoise and moon yellow. I think that's the one color I wasn't necessarily out of. I just never had it before and the name was intriguing. And that being said, that is a pretty shitty yellow. So that's pretty cool. I guess I should take it upstairs now and then cook dinner. Probably. All right, I'll be back. I do also want to say something really weird happened just a second ago. It sounded like somebody was knocking on the window. Only I'm home alone and there's nobody outside in the front or back or side yard. The kids next door are playing on their trampoline. I can hear them. It was a little weird and spooky. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning, March 4th. I had to count. Um, I don't know exactly what time it is, but it is, oh, 8.35. The computer just told me so. See, there you go. Um, I'm up early-ish and dressed because I'm expecting a USPS delivery that I'm gonna have to sign for and I'd rather not do that in my pajamas so and yesterday he came and tried to deliver it but I was in the shower so yeah anyway that's a thing anyway I'm gonna get my daily typing done and go check on Bambi's bowl and do my normal morning routine stuff while I'm waiting for him to come I'll be back. to throw something in the trash and Bambi was literally like right there and he's emptied both bowls or he and his friends so yeah I'll go put some more food out we are gonna have to get more deer food tomorrow
that's gonna be a thing. Probably just scared him off because I accidentally hit the garage door opener. Oops. Well, well, well. I didn't scare him. He's just waiting for breakfast. Or more breakfast. Or something. He's like, will you go back inside already, lady, so I can finish eating? <laughs> the problem with feeding the deer. Well, there's probably a few problems with feeding the deer. I'm choosing to only think of one. Uh, I have visions of someday being here in the garage with the garage door open, you know, getting situated in the car to go run errands or go out and do something and have the deer come up to the car window and go, hey, lady, can you feed me before you leave? Yeah, because I think they might actually do that. They're pretty friendly deer. I don't think they're really that afraid of anything, especially now that I'm feeding them. That being said, some of you have been concerned about um, bugs, insects, and deer ticks. We do spray for that and we use a more natural, environmentally friendly pest control system. We actually use Aptiv. Um, and Aptiv friendly or Aptiv approved type products. Um, we do live next to the woods. So with or without the deer, insects are gonna be a thing. And honestly, ticks were a thing in San, in San Jose, California where we used to live. My husband's been bitten by a tick when we lived in California. Uh, we didn't live too far from a uh, county park, a wildlife open area that also had deer, and um, he got bitten by a tick in our backyard. So it's you know been always a thing, and I'm I'm allergic to arachnid venom. I've mentioned that before. So um, yeah, bugs are a thing. So we we take care of that. We take precautions. So anyway, I'm gonna go back inside now. I guess let him eat his food. I'm gonna go see if he's eating now. If he's moved now that he thinks I've gone inside. He must not be hungry. He must have just finished clearing out the bowls. But yeah, that's the side of my house. And the woods right there. I just realized I don't think I've vlogged all day today. It's Saturday, April 6th, I think. It's late, pretty late in the day. It's 2.32 p.m according to the stove. <laughs> um, it's been a busy morning, holy cow. So first thing this morning, the gardener was here and he had some extra bark from another landscaping project and he came over and said, do you want it? Of course, for a price, but it was a pretty good price. So my husband said, sure. So we got unexpectedly got bark laid down in the front and back, which we kind of needed anyway. Then we got our new bed delivered, yay. Last night, the kids helped us get the old mattress and box spring up the stairs. So now the spare guest room actually has an actual bed in it. We still have the air mattress in case we end up with extra company. We have an extra bed, but yeah, so that's a good thing. And then we've been working on chores. That noise in the background is the uh, laundry. And I was trying to get my email situation straightened out, which I think... We got the main important parts of it fixed. Thank you, Yahoo, for fixing it. Um, and I also have a workaround for easily checking all my mail in one place. Because I just don't want to talk to Yahoo anymore right now, to be honest with you. Um, and then we had a contractor come by to give us an estimate on repainting the outside of the house. We've got to have lights put up. We want to do something about resurfacing the concrete in the driveway and the back patio. My husband's out right now getting a new battery for his car. It's just been one of those Saturdays. There's one thing after the other. It's just, it's a lot. We have a couple of other errands we need to run, but we don't have to do them today, so we're not going to. Um, my parents and the kids are gonna be here tomorrow to help us with some stuff in the garage. And then I'm going to just be on overload after that, so that's good. And I've got a couple more contractors coming on Monday for estimates. So, yeah, we had a vase that took a header last night. A header last Thanks. night off of a cabinet by the TV. Uh, my husband bought the, brought this back from a uh, business trip to Taiwan years ago for me. It's a beautiful vase. And... I do like it, plus hello, he gave it to me, so I don't really want to get rid of it. So I decided to do um, the Japanese thing of 
you know, putting it back together and making the cracks gold. Um, it's not the smoothest job on the planet, far from it. But that being said, I think I'm going to add a little bit more to this one right here. And I'm going to leave it. I don't think I'm going to clean all the bumply, bumply, is that a word? Bumply? Bumply bits off. I think it just added something to the character of the vase. I did this this morning, so I think this is dry enough now to go back in and take some of the bad bumpleys away, but also add a little bit more to a few places and just make sure it's glued together well. How did I do this, do you say? Because I think the original Japanese way of doing this, which is a word I can't pronounce, I'll insert it here somewhere, and put a YouTube link, uh, put a website link to Wikipedia in the description below. Um, I think they use a glue and then they put gold leaf, but what I did was I used some schminky um, gold pigment powder and I mixed it with E6000 and used that and it worked just worked like a charm. So I'm going to do some more work on that and we're going to spend the rest of the evening just chilling at home I think, getting chores done, working on laundry and relaxing before our house is full of people tomorrow. <laughs> I do think we have some stuff to probably fill my car up with donations from the garage as part of what's going to happen tomorrow. So when he gets back with my car, I think I need to move some things around. So I think that's it for the moment. I'll okay, it's all fixed. But no more throwing balls in the house, people. You hear me? <laughs> all right, the other thing that happened today, too, is while the mattress uh, for the new bed was being delivered, I went outside when they weren't looking, and I stole this big piece of, look at this. <laughs> How cool of a mark making tool would that be on the jelly plate? Like, I had to have a piece. I just had to. I know, right? Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. So, fun fact it's Sunday morning and I forgot to close last week's vlog. Oops. This weekend's been a hive of activity. Um, it's just been crazy. I didn't even film everything that happened yesterday because there was just too much going on. Um, but we got a new bed delivered. We had an unexpected visit from the gardener. As I spoke of, we had bark delivery um, from him and contractors visiting for estimates and I have there's one I really like so I have some more coming tomorrow before we can make our final decision but there one yesterday I actually really like him uh, anyway it is a brisk overcast beautiful rainy morning here in the Portland Oregon area and yeah anyway it's been a great week and um, let's hope it continues and uh, yeah, I hope that you, I remember, <laughs> okay, so first of all, I hope I remember to put any li relevant links in the description below. If I forget, somebody leave a comment and remind me. I will try. Um, and um, I hope you've all found this interesting and that you continue to do so. There's some interesting content coming up on the YouTube channel um, for going forward, especially for April. So I at least interesting to me. I hope it's interesting to you. Let me know if there's anything sp specific you'd like to see on the channel. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube, of course, there's a lot of different ways you can do that. Click on the link tree link in the description below. You'll find Patreon, my Amazon store, my Etsy shop, all that stuff. You'll also find some places you can follow me on the internet to just see what I'm up to. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, please, if you will. And the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.